what's up guys and welcome to Ivar's Fly Workshop. This time we are going to tie a fly which is uh, like a secret kind of like a secret weapon of a friend of mine up north. Uh, I'm using a sample fly nano silk uh, 30 10 year black and I'm using a um, dry fly traditional hook in the size of, of 12 or 14. Uh, spider partridge specialist like the name of this fly and you can find the pattern in the videos descriptions down below and you can also find information there about how you can support the uh, channel you're welcome to support support to support my work if you if you like please do so uh, the body of the fly i am using uh, a sample fly material which is called fluoroprite in orange and that is gonna be like the you know like part of the body like two-thirds of the body and yes remember to like share and subscribe to the channel click the bell so you'll get notification every time i post new videos so we attach this uh, floor right down to the hook shank we'll snip these two away and then i'm gonna just fast forward a bit when we wrap them around the hook Uh, we got that here so we are as you see we are leaving like kind of two-thirds left of the not two-thirds but one-third of the hook uh, until the eye because we have a collar coming on the uh, fly and we also have to install the hackle of the fly uh, this very good friend of mine up north he runs a company up there and uh, it's one of the better fishing rivers in Iceland that he has access to so this is one of his secret weapons on the river for brown trout uh, for the color we are using a brown crystal dub so we will make like a dubbing noodle on the thread spin it uh, let's say carefully on the thread and this time we will be using the rotary system of the vice just for the fun of it normally when i'm when i'm tapping uh, on i'm not using the rotary system of the vice i use it i should use it more i can admit that i should use you use that more actually it's true um and get a zoom in to see see this it gives it a little buggy you know um, look and for the hackle of the fly i am using a gray partridge um, it's in a good quality and some might say this uh, how i'm dressing the hackle of the fly would be too much or or, or some but this is how this friend of mine dresses his, his flies. So um, I'm just imitating that fly from one of his books. We'll create like, create like this uh, brush here. And when we do the brush, it's always gonna be way easier to grab that with your thread and uh, attach that. Um, I know the the guy the feather panther channel or that guy is an excellent youtube channel he's doing a lot of those brush things when he's tying in for tying in feathers but first time when i learned it i think that is like um from like a paper or a, or like a or like a little paper or a flyer from vineyard like old like really old 
and some of the Orvis uh, stuff I have. They also mention this uh, brush creating when you're tying in a feather like this. Shiny side of the feather, of course, should be facing up and forward. And then comes the fun part that is to um, to wrap the feather around and create the actual hackle of the fly. Um, you have to comb the feather like to get the fibers to face backwards. That is going to make everything way easier. You have to move the thread to the front. And then we can start to make our make our hackle. And we do not want them to be overdressed. This this though some some guys might say this is too much dressing for the hackle of the spider fly. I would say uh, in some cases maybe yes, but um, but as you see, it's like I would say this would be like a fully dressed hackle. More than that would be overdressed, obviously. Uh, you can also dress it lighter, just like with few fibers, maybe ten fibers around of the of the hackle fibers, maybe only just ten. That is gonna make it look really slim. But some like to do that. I, I at least this fly is supposed to be tied like this, and it works fantastically for brown trout. Uh, then we have to grab our fibers before we build up the head of the fly. We have to grab them, pinch them again, grab them again like this, and then we will start to build up the head of the fly. Like so. Then the fibers are going to be shining backwards, and believe me, this uh, fly works. works. I have tried it a little bit myself. Not in running water, but in the uh, lakes I'm fishing in. I'm as you, as you may, I may, I may have told you, and you've seen on the, on the logs I've done. I'm not like a fancy angler at all because my budget is, budget is that short. I'm not fishing much for salmon here in Iceland simply because I do not afford salmon license. Therefore, you know, I have to do something else. Eat trout, Arctic char. And brown trout in some, you know, a little bit cheaper places. That's just, I'm, I'm totally okay with that. Uh, then the head of the fly is ready. Then we are going to put on like a little bit of um, solar respawn cure. And we are going to fry that with our light. Once again, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you find the content of the channel interesting and you want to help us to grow. Yeah, like, share, and subscribe to the channel and click the bell. Also, support the channel because I, I don't know how much money I put in the, <laughs> into the equipment I'm using. But it's all done for you guys. So, you're good today. I just want to say thanks for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video.